I'm Kevin Asir, and this is Leadership Biz Cafe, a podcast that provides insights and tools to help leaders take on the challenges and opportunities found in leading today's workplaces. Leadership Biz Cafe is brought to you by Tanvi Nasir Leadership, our leadership firm that offers keynotes and corporate trainings in both virtual and in-person settings that will help to improve the way you lead and guide your organization's growth and future successes. To find out how we can help you today with your leadership challenges and discover your untapped opportunities, visit our website at tavinasir.com. And now, let's head over to my espresso machine as it's time to brew up another leadership espresso shot. If I were to ask you what you thought was the greatest invention in human history, what would be your reply? I imagine for some of you, your answer would be the personal computer and all the technological marvels that now make up our digital world. For others, I could imagine hearing the invention of the light bulb being our greatest invention for how it planted the seeds from which our modern world has grown. The interesting thing about this question is that there's no right answer, and that, if anything, it reveals more about the respondent and their perception and relationship to the world around them. For example, for myself, I would say our greatest invention is language and our use of words to communicate with one another. Now, granted, this might seem like an obvious answer given how the main focus of my work is speaking and writing, but I think many of us don't appreciate how powerful our words can be and the impact they can have on others, especially when we're serving in a leadership role. In one of my leadership keynotes I gave recently, I did this exercise where the leaders in attendance got to appreciate how the kinds of questions we ask to those we lead not only shapes and influences how your employees view a situation, but more importantly, how it also impacts what your employees willingly share with you to help you better understand their perspective. In one of the conversations I had following my keynote, one leader shared with me how they had never realized how a simple change in the kinds of questions we ask could have such a tangible impact where you're gaining access to insights and information that employees might otherwise not share. Of course, it also raised the question of what other moments are there where leaders need to be mindful of what they are saying. And that's why with this leadership espresso shot, I want to discuss something most leaders don't allow themselves time to consider and reflect on, and that is the power of words, especially for those in leadership positions. And I thought a great way to explore this is by sharing the example of two leaders and how their words served to shape how others viewed and responded to their leadership. The first leader was someone I worked with as part of the management team at a biotechnology firm and how he guided our organization during the merger of our North American parent company with a much larger European multinational. Given the significant change this was going to have on our organization, there was understandably a lot of anxiety and concern amongst employees about the long-term future of our division within this larger multinational organization. While those of us in middle management were privy to some of the proposed changes, Our president was more interested in keeping a tight lid on any information he shared with the rest of the employees. It soon became clear to everyone in our company that our president was more interested in protecting his power than on trying to address and allay any fears his employees might have about their future within the company. As a result of his lack of communication to address the concerns of his employees, rumors were soon being passed around as fact and the uncertainty and apprehension led to a sizable drain in key talent as people sought better and more secure opportunities elsewhere. In the end, our division was mostly untouched by the merger, but thanks to our president's lack of words to reassure and support his employees through this period of uncertainty, our division ended up losing many valuable people who were vital to the organization's future growth and prosperity. 
The second leader I want to highlight here in this discussion of the power of words is retired Duke University coach Mike Krzyzewski, affectionately known as Coach K, who recently retired as the winningest basketball coach of all time. Now, with a record like his, it's not surprising that many people have tried to use his tactics in the hopes of nearing the levels of success he's achieved. And yet, when people have asked Coach K what's behind his history-making success, he's quick to point out that it's not about the strategies he used or how he made his player assignments. For Coach K, the secret behind his success comes from the power of words that he used in his team's game rituals. Namely, that after every single play his team made, no matter the score or who they're up against, his players on the bench would begin chanting, Next Play. By chanting these words, Coach K wanted his players on the bench to tell their teammates on the court that, yes, it's great that we scored, or yes, we're still behind the game, but now's the time to focus on what we can achieve next. It's a simple ritual, and yet for Coach K, It's a critical use of the power of words to remind his players that what you just did is not as important as what you're doing right now. In each of these examples, you can see how the words you speak, or even those you leave unspoken, can drastically impact how others view their roles within your team, of how their efforts matter, and where you need them to put their focus in order to ensure your collective success in the future. Of course, it's easy for us to appreciate the importance of words in today's leadership. After all, how else could you communicate your vision or what you want your people to achieve if you lack the words to impart those ideas? But what I'm hoping you're starting to appreciate is that our words do not simply impart information. They influence how people see the value of what they do. And this is exactly what we see lying at the heart of every study looking into what's behind those persistent low levels of employee engagement in organizations around the world. A lack of genuine communication between leaders and those under their care. Time and again, there are study findings released that demonstrate that people want to know that their efforts matter, if not also why they should care about your vision. They want to understand the connection between their efforts and the larger shared purpose that defines why we do what we do. We have to remember that our words can either inspire greatness or they can extinguish the potential of those we lead. This is exactly what we see in the example of these two leaders where saying things or not saying things that seem so simple and so obvious can have the biggest impact on both our ability to succeed and on our ability to retain those who are critical to our long-term growth and prosperity. With Coach K, the simple act of teaching his players the power of the words next play helped to keep his team engaged in the long view of appreciating both their successes and their failures as stepping stones for greater achievements in the future. In the case of the president I worked for, what he didn't understand was that the words his employees needed to hear weren't contingent on him having firm information to share. Rather, it was about making them feel heard and understood. That he recognized the impact the climate of uncertainty this giant merger was creating in our workplace. All that was needed to keep employees invested in the company was a simple acknowledgement. You matter to me and I care about your future. By sharing the examples of these two leaders on opposite ends of the leadership spectrum, we can appreciate that a leader's words should remind people that they're part of something special, something meaningful. The power of our words is that it gives people a choice, a choice to either want to commit their discretionary efforts to the vision we propose, or to pull back and withhold the very talents, creativity, and insights that are increasingly critical to our long-term prosperity and ability to adapt and change. 
So while the personal computer and the light bulb have certainly helped to shape and define the world we now live in and the organizations we now lead, it's important that you not overlook the power of your words to inspire and empower your employees to not only believe in their potential, but to aim to be better than they are today. And on that note, we arrive at the end of another Leadership Espresso Shot. I often tell conference and meeting organizers how my favorite part of giving leadership keynotes is the Q&A portion because I love hearing how attendees connect the dots between the insights I've shared and their reality as a leader in their organization. But it's also because of how it can also serve as inspiration for what I'd like to share in an upcoming Leadership Espresso Shot. Now, if this episode has made you curious to learn more about my speaking work, either as a keynote speaker or for a leadership workshop, I'd like to invite you to check out the speaking page on my website at tavinasir.com, where you'll find more information about the leadership topics I talk about in my keynotes, as well as seeing some of the leadership keynotes and workshops I offer. And if you enjoyed this episode or have been enjoying listening to my podcast, if you haven't already done so, I'd appreciate it if you could rate and review my podcast on whatever platform you enjoy listening to podcasts on. And while you're at it, why not share this podcast with others you know who'd also enjoy listening to my podcast? The easiest way to do that is to share a link to our podcast page at tamvinasir.com slash LBC, where they can find links to subscribe to our podcast on all the major streaming platforms, as well as show notes for our past episodes. I'm Tavin Nasir, and you've been listening to Leadership Biz Cafe.